Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about alkalinity, okay? I want to talk about ionic trace minerals and what they have to do with alkalinity, all right? Now, we can get ionic trace minerals through alkaline foods such as what? Fruits and vegetables we know, right? That's going to give us all the organic ionic minerals that we need. So we want to make sure, once again, I always reiterate that we have a diet that's very high in fruits and vegetables, okay? And drink plenty of alkaline water. Alkaline water has a pH of about 7.4 and above. And that's actually where you want your body's pH at also. So what you would do is you got to educate yourself on foods that's considered to be acidic and alkaline. So an easy way of looking at it is fruits and vegetables, alkaline food, okay? You, you, you can't go wrong with fruits and vegetables, okay, when it comes to alkalinity and helping you be more alkaline. But you can be too alkaline as well, so everything in balance. Foods that are acidic, that's, that's prevalent, or things that make us acidic, you know, um, we drink coffee. I drink coffee myself. So that's why I make sure I drink plenty of alkaline water. I'm always eating plenty of fruits and vegetables as well to also, you know, keep me balanced. All right. Um, smoking, you know, uh, toxic air, air columns and things like that. They cause um, an acidic pH balance. OK. And so, like I said, we always just want to be mindful and reiterating, you know, things that we can do to keep our alkalinity high okay um and how high enough so also we we know that when you're alkaline you're taking in more oxygen okay and uh when you're taking in more oxygen your oxygen is your prana your chi your life force right uh life is in the breath okay life is in the blood life is in the breath all right so when you're alkaline you're able to take in more oxygen okay when you're acidic your body's not getting as much oxygen also you're not conducting life force energy as as well okay and that is a that's a big one in life guys look at yourself like a battery okay and when your battery is charged up, okay, what? You know, you got plenty of, of power to go, okay, to power through, all right, to move along, all right? So the thing is, when you have, but just like with, with power, right, you need a conductor, all right? You need a generator, a conductor, and a conductor, right? And so your cells is the conductor of electricity, all right, and 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 oxygen, okay, alkalinity, life force, water, the foods that we eat. The food, it's supposed to be the foods that we eat if we're eating living foods, right? Healthy foods. The water that we drink, the air we breathe, these things all give us chi, life force, prana, okay? And the thing is, your cells is that conductor. And just like if you have copper or any other type of conductor, okay, um, you have insulators as well, things that keep that electricity from, from, um, from flowing through. OK, and so if you have look at look at look at acid, um, acidity like like rubber, OK, like like sludge, you know, like something is getting in the way of your electricity, the electricity being able to flow through your body. Make sense. OK, guys. So when we're acidic, it's like our cells become sludgy. They become stuck together, clumped up. OK, the blood becomes clumped up. OK, and we're not everything's not flowing properly, uh, properly. OK, so that's another big component um, when we're talking about um, acidity and, and alkalinity. OK, the more alkaline you are, the more your, your cells have space, the more they could conduct energy and, and, and energy can flow through your body. OK, and you're at ease. The more acidic you are, the more things are clumped up, things aren't working like they're supposed to, energy's not flowing well, and then that causes what? Dis-ease, right? All right, so we want to make sure we're getting, like I said, those trace, those trace ionic minerals, okay? Um, so I have something here, okay? It's called uh, pH alkali alkalizer, okay? And it's uh, just ionic trace minerals, okay? And it's, it's, uh, it says antioxidant support. And that's because it's basically helping your cells from oxidating, okay? Um, uh, 
uh, to keep them from oxidating based on the fact that it's keeping you alkalized with the proper minerals, the proper conductive minerals in your body, in your bloodstream, okay, that keep you taking in oxygen well, keeping you uh, hydrated, okay, keeping those cells conducting electricity, which is keeping you healthy and keeping your battery uh, functional longer. Make sense? All right, um, so now this is a particular, like I said, sometimes I like to show you guys things I talk, I mean, I take so you won't think I'm just talking about certain things and I don't actually um, use uh, th the things that I talk about, okay? I eat healthy, y'all, I put it on film and I eat healthy all the time. I just don't put it on film all the time, but I, um, I practice what I preach with fruits and vegetables, alkaline water, juices, smoothies, okay, fasting, Okay, exercising, all these things are documented, um, and I do everything that I talk about, okay? And same thing with the supplements. I try to show you guys different supplements, so you just won't think I'm telling you about a bunch of supplements that, that you can't take. Like I said, everything in moderation, okay? You don't want to be taking a billion supplements at one time, right? So you, t you take breaks from certain things. You might be on something for um, a couple weeks, get off of that for a few weeks, start with something else. A lot of the things that I promote are also just like whole foods. So it's things that's really just like any any food that you eat every day. So you don't really have to worry about, you know, overdoing it, so so to speak, um, any more than you would have to worry about overdoing any other food. You know what I mean? So everything in moderation. Uh, but things like this, this is an actual supplement. This isn't food. So these are trace of minerals. I mean, trace minerals, okay? So, you, you know, you would want to cycle with things like this so you won't have um, a toxic level of certain minerals, okay, in your body, okay? But this this is ionic. So what this has, it has vitamin D, calcium, okay? And it's from True Cal, uh, and it's a milk calcium complex, okay? So it's uh, it looks like it's patented the way that they they uh, mix it up okay and uh, it's pr it probably helps with the absorption of it okay so that's always important too being able to absorb so absorb absor absorbable uh, <laughs> minerals okay and vitamins all right um, magnesium and this is in mag and speaking of that magnesium citrate is a very very uh, absorbable uh, form of magnesium okay um, a lot of the supplements are magnesium oxide which is not so good you don't your body doesn't really respond to absorbing that well okay so magnesium citrate sterate these are better more absorbable I'm um, as absorbable I'm having trouble with that word huh <laughs> um, forms of magnesium okay um, zinc okay and manganese okay and uh, and that's also as manganese citrate and also potassium and so it has it has these minerals okay and in certain quantities that work well together in certain ratios okay to help keep your body alkaline all right guys so uh now this is a spring valley brand i'm not big on brands with things i try to get the best brands i can you know it's 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 like anything else Everything doesn't have to cost a whole lot of money. Just because something is, is high dollar doesn't mean it's a better quality product. Some things are actually better and they cost less than things that are, you know, less quality, you know, but they cost more money. Um, so I find that a lot of Spring Valley products work just fine with me um, and for me. So, you know, um, but I do get different brands and, and things of that nature. So you have to see what you like, what works for you. Okay. And, uh, and there, yeah, I think that's pretty good, guys. So don't forget, with sickness and disease, it's all about alkalinity. That's a big part of it, okay, guys? Stay alkaline, okay? Keep that pH at a 7.4 and, um, and slightly above even, okay? And try to make sure that you are being mindful of the ratio of acidic foods and acidic things that we're doing and and being alkaline and in our today's environment we have to make sure that we're concentrating on being alkaline because there's plenty of things without us even trying okay that make us acidic okay the air we breathe some of the habits we have like i said things like smoking and things of this nature it all causes um acid okay um and the buildup of acid okay um working hard things like that with like lactic acid things of that nature so um uh, 
you're more so definitely going to get the 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 acidic aspect of your pH um the the uh needs met. So make sure you're getting alkaline foods, okay? Hopefully it's helpful video guys. Peace.